Let's look at another useful example using advanced custom fields to create a restaurant menu format. Right now I have placeholders for the ingredients and the price. If we go to posts, I have another category for the menu and I've entered the title and image for each of these menu items. Let's go to custom fields and start adding menu item field. Start out with ingredients. This time we're going to choose a select and this allows us to create a list of ingredients. If this is a restaurant that uses a lot of similar ingredients such as ramen or pizza, this can be handy to list out your ingredients and then with each menu item you can select multiple ingredients to be output on the front of the website. Let's go ahead and add field instructions. I've copied a list of ingredients to paste into the choices field. And as we scroll down, We're going to select post category again, equal to menu. Let's begin adding our menu item. I've copied a list of ingredients for our choices. As we scroll down, we're going to put yes for the ability to select multiple values. This time we want the post category to be menu and since we're not using the content editor I'm going to hide it on the screen this time. Let's go ahead and add the price field. In this, let's say number as is our best field type and you can make these required if you'd like I'm not 
going to for this. Let's go ahead and look at a post. So now we have ingredients, price, and the WYSIWYG editor is hidden. We can see an example of the condition of the field groups by unchecking a category. And now you can see as we check the box, the condition is met for those fields to show. Let's go ahead and select a few of these that might be in this dish. Let's start with that. Add a price and update. Let's look at how to output these multiple selected items now. On ACF, I've gone to the select field. And if we copy this code and go to our editor, I've got the template part for content menu, and these are running through the loop. So whenever you are outputting the fields, make sure you're within the loop of the WordPress query. So these categories have the loop, and my template part content menu is within that loop. And I have my placeholders here. I'm going to go ahead and replace ingredients with the code for outputting the advanced custom fields. You can also see they're using a variable here for get field. Let's change this to ingredients. Make sure you replace the variable everywhere it's displayed. And they are using a conditional statement in their example, so we can work our tags into their condition. And let's also add our field for the price. Save and preview. We just updated Tokyo and that worked perfectly. We can go to our other posts and start adding the ingredients and the price there. So now you can see how easy it is to update the menu and you can continue doing that for every menu item.